These are the Cuban tree frogs I caught tonight. I went out about an hour later than I usually do. I wanted to show you guys just how big some of these are. Like, four of them are humongous females. Like this one right here. The males never get anywhere near this size. And looks like she's got a male on her back already. <laughs> so you can see I'm talking about the one down here, not this one on top of her. Anyway, um, I guess going out an hour later, the bigger females come out. But to anyone who's new to the channel and what I do, I remove these invasive Cuban tree frogs from my neighborhood here in Florida because as their name suggests, they're from Cuba, they're not native to Florida or any other part of the US, and they eat all of our native tree frogs and many other frogs and other vertebrates too. So as a highly invasive species, it is 100% legal to capture them and kill them. I like to do it humanely by putting them in the fridge for about half an hour so they fall asleep. And then I'll put them in the freezer after that once they're asleep to actually kill them. So that's what I do. If anyone else lives in Florida and wants to do this, this is what these frogs look like when they get really big. And of course there's little ones like this, I still kill them too because if I let them grow up, in a couple years they'll be like this. And there's no telling how many native frogs have been killed by each one of these gigantic frogs. Obviously they do eat insects, they're good at eating roaches and other stuff, but they're not good for the ecosystem. It's totally legal to kill them, so that's what I do. I'm approaching a thousand. Right now I have 934 with these seven. And I'm gonna go take care of these guys and keep on catching them till I don't find any more.